Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you and uh, we're just doing a Bible study and uh, if you go to Psalm uh, 91 Psalm 91 excuse me, Psalm 91 so it's just a short Bible study it's a beautiful sun out there Psalm 91 We read, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes thou shalt behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For she, he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. And I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In 1854, Charles Spurgeon was in London as a minister. He'd only been there 12 months. And he said this, I felt the burden was heavier than I could bear. He was struggling. It was uh, a plague was going on in London and he couldn't cope with it. And it was too difficult. But one day he went to a shop and he saw in the window he saw the verses of Psalm 91 and it gave him comfort and we can find comfort today with God Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 19 Habakkuk chapter 3 Habakkuk chapter 3 Habakkuk uh, chapter 3 verse 17 Although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall the fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail the field shall feel no meat yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall be no herd in the stalls yet I will rejoice in the Lord and I will joy in the God of my salvation we can find a joy and a peace today in God I just have three points today when the going gets tough, get into the presence of God. Verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, let's get into the shadow of the Almighty. The shadow is the idea that we want to get close to God. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, the woman got into the shadow of the man because she wanted to be in the presence of the man. We need to get into the shadow of God because we want to get into the presence of God. And um, we're, we're, we're reconciled to God, if we've seen in 2 Corinthians 5, 18, 19, we're reconciled to God, we have cleansing, we, we're forgiven. So let's dwell in the presence of God today. In the midst of our trial, let's dwell in His presence. When the going gets tough, He shall protect you. Verse 2. I will save the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Verse 3 Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. Verse 4 He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The, cut, the, the idea of the feathers 
is that you know God will cover you with his protection you know there was a, a hen found in a forest and a, uh, a body was burnt and uh, they looked at this black hen that was burnt to a char and they opened their wings and the chicks were there all safe God covers you with his feathers Isaiah 43 verse 2 Isaiah 43 verse 2 Isaiah 43 verse 2 43 verse 2 When thou pass through the waters I'll be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon you the the fire will not overcome you you'll be okay Psalm 121 Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and evermore. So when the going gets tough, he shall protect you. When the going gets tough, you have nothing to fear. Fear can cripple us. You know, there's a story of a woman who was full of fear of a preacher and she could hardly do anything we, we can it, fear can cripple us Psalm 91 verse 5 thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day you know we don't have to fear Genesis 15 1 says that you know God was Abraham's shield we don't have anything to fear today 2, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 2 Timothy chapter 1 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind we don't have to fear today don't fear the going gets tough when the going gets tough love him more Psalm 91 verse 14 because he has set his love upon me, there will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Why do we go through difficulties? Why does it we go through these pains? Because God wants us to love him more. And when we love him more, he will help us. He will deliver us. He will go before us. We have to love him more. So, let's recap. In Psalm 91. When the going gets tough, get into the presence of God. Let's get more into the presence of God. When the going gets tough, He shall protect you. He'll cover you with His feathers. When the going gets tough, we have nothing to fear. When the going gets tough, love Him more. Let's turn to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14, our last passage. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 4, 2 Timothy, two Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Alexander the cop did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works, of whom thou were also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray that God it, it, it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth as of a lion. You know, the Lord will stand with you as you serve him. The Lord will stand with you.